If you want to get a hold of suit schematics, weapon schematics, ionised gas, power regulators, graphene in Elite Dangerous Odyssey and you want to do it quickly, then this is the video for you. Okay, so I've been upgrading my suits in Elite Dangerous Odyssey and I need suit schematics for that. It's a bit of a bottleneck that one. It's the last resource I need to go from a grade 4 to a grade 5 on my Maverick suit. So I found this um, brilliant settlement which offers lots of uh, suit schematics on a loop and you can do it quickly and you've, you can get all the other materials as well. Typically it takes about 15 minutes and it's in the Nona system. N-O-N-A and it's on planet A2 and it's Kim Spa and I've got my wingman along with me today he'll be doing the external camera work if you want to gather suit schematics quickly in some kind of a loop you want to avoid going through the rest of the base you want to avoid going through command centers and things like that especially if there's only one suit schematic so what's beautiful about this place is this tourist place has a power center separate from the other six buildings and it's also down a little slope from the landing pad so if you take out the three guards and the technician there quite quickly the guards and everyone else at the rest of the habitat have no idea what you're up to because they are up a slope across a landing pad and over the hills and far away and they don't bother you and you can just go about your business you can get definite power regulator from the power center plus the possibility of a second one there's an SRV outside and there's a panel underneath it when you're lucky the panel will have an active power regulator in it there are also four canisters outside and um, you'll quite often get graphene in one of them and you can do all this without affecting the rest of the main base. So I've driven over behind the power centre and parked my SRV um, behind there to make sure that it won't be seen. I've taken two e-breaches because there are four containers here, three of them need e-breaches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to creep up on the guard here and make sure that he doesn't see me. If he does, I'll let him come over and scan me. If I manage to catch him out up on the platform, I can take him out without the other guards seeing me. There's an overview of the base um, at the power centre and you can see the other side. There's a couple of the guards. They're on patrol. And I'm going to creep up here. And try and catch this guard out. Sometimes I electrocute him, sometimes I use my pistol. He's there. Oh, he's seen me, so I'm just going for the kill. Two shots, hopefully, yep. Now, that's likely drawn the attention of the other guard, so now I'm in a firefight, which I wanted to avoid. Here they come. Okay, that's one down. And the other one. Shields are still, no, shields are down. Need to be careful here. Try and get this second guard quickly. Nope, he's ducked in behind. The AI has improved in this game. He's radioing for help. I don't want that, so I need to get him quickly. If I'm quick enough, no one will come. If they do come, then it adds a whole load of time onto the whole process. Okay, that's him gone. I'm pretty low on health, so I'll just fix that. Lots of ships coming into this base. Now, that should be me clear. Because he started to call for help, I do need to keep an eye on that. I'm going to go in the side door here, use the arc cutter, and in here will be the technician who will be level 3, and that will allow me to shut down the power centre, turn off the alarms, turn off the ground defence turret that's up at the landing pad. Um, if the alarm is fully raised, that personnel turret will just become a nuisance. There's the technician. One shot. Pleased with that. Okay, so I'm going to go over and scan the technician or the administrator in this case. And once I've got the level 3 access, I'll go and turn off the defense turret there. There is There are no anti-ship turrets here, which is brown. I'm wanted in this system but there's nothing to shoot me down so I can fly in every time it's no problem that's the settlement alarm off right I've skipped ahead now to speed things up for the video I've turned off the power in the base that'll take a wee while so it's better to do it first 
graphene, brilliant. This locker can sometimes be quite sparse, but that's quite good. And now this one, this is where I'm hoping the mother load is. We can get suit schematics and what else. Oh yes, this is perfect. This is ionized gas. What have we got? Yep, perfect. Weapon schematic, suit schematic, and compression liquefied gas. That's a really, really good result. It's not always as good as that. I'm going to just charge up now before I go back outside. Still keeping an eye on the scanner to see if anyone comes from the main base, but so far so good. Probably if they haven't come by now, they're just not coming and I can do what I like. Gather up all that I need and then just leave and then start the loop again. So I'm away outside. There's a bit of a graphics anomaly going on here. There's a floating canister and all these things. This um, crater here, mini crater, has created a bit of a strange event. So they're floating, which makes it a little bit difficult to reach the things. Okay, we've got some useful things there. But obviously, um, if I can get to the SRV and get another power regulator, that would be the best thing. Sometimes I don't do all four of these containers. There's one that's unlocked that sometimes has components in it um, that I'll usually go to. Okay, now there's a tricky angle on this um, hatch underneath the SRV. I've seen myself cutting four or five times across here before I finally get it open. That was quite good. Just charge up the suit. There we go. And even if I ran out of, even if I run out of things, the SRV is just around the corner. It's really handy. My SRV. Have we got an active power regulator? We do. Absolutely brilliant. So we'll take that as well as all the other stuff. Then these small panels here. We're probably at about the 10 minute mark now for this mission. Something like that. Maybe less. The video will be a bit shorter because I cut it a couple of times there for speed. Now we'll just get the last of these components. They can be a little bit tricky to reach. You just have to move about and make sure you get them. There's nothing really here to, to stand on to help you. Here we go. Nice. Last couple of things. Taking my time so that I don't have to keep moving about. Okay, I'll go to that this one here. Now this one is another locked one. Let's see what's in here this time. As you'll all know, it's just your luck in these lockers what you get. That's not bad. I can sell these things, they're no real use. Other than that, now this locker is unlocked and this is where I'm hoping for some useful things. Graphene, perfect. Not much else, but I'm happy with that. Now there's another locker over where I killed the first guard. Sometimes I just don't do that one, but um, on this occasion I won't bother. So I'm, I've just heard the power, state, uh, power center shutting down, so I'll run back in and get the power regulator. Still unopposed, perfect. And there we go. If I don't run into a wall. And the power regulator. And that is it. Job done. I'm going to run back out. I've still got my shields up the whole time just in case. And I'm going back to the SRV. I'll get on board. And do the loop again. But that was a, that was a really good loop. Um, sometimes it's not as good as that but considering the time spent and sometimes you spend a lot longer than that at a base and you don't get much now i've also got the option of going up to the main tourist site it is full of different things um, and there's not many guards left up there so it's easy pickings as well and um, loads of graphene and things up there so um if you fancy going up to the main tourist site no problem but for sheer suit schematics, I would suggest you just stay down here and do this on a loop. And that's me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that was useful. I couldn't really find a good suit schematic video myself. That's why I made this one. To begin the whole process again, fly about 30 kilometers up. I usually go into super cruise um, and jump straight back out again if I'm over 30 kilometers. Fly back down and again, the whole cycle is about 15 minutes. Feel free to subscribe below and if you have any helpful comments put them in the comment section below. 
And if you'd like to see more content, you can let me know as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.